right. I haven't given you guys like a personal update in a while of just like what's going on in my life as a mompreneur, as an author. And so I'm going to do that today. So stay tuned. All right. So let's just dive right in. Um, for those of you who are new to this channel, I am MK Williams. I'm an author. I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. So be sure to subscribe um, so you can be here every week as I talk about um, publishing, make a career out of being an author and now being a mompreneur. But this week is more of a personal update. So I'll have more detailed um, how-to videos starting next week. But today is more personal. So kind of just to start off, the roof project is here. And our upstairs neighbors are remodeling, so it's loud. I'm literally recording this on a Sunday. I sent my husband out with our daughter, and I was like, you need to play with her until noon because I need to record because it's quiet on Sundays because they're not working on the roof and people upstairs aren't remodeling. So it's it's been stressful. So imagine you have a boss, and that boss has no higher level reasoning or emotional self-regulation, and then make your workspace loud. That's my life because my daughter is my daughter, but she's also kind of like my boss because I'm a full-time mom. And so being the sweetest, best mom is a daily challenge with a toddler. Anybody who's a toddler knows that. Like just put your shoes on. Like just just do that. And But then add in the noise. So at least there's a finite end date to the noise. But it's been a trip. So... It, she's kind of transitioning away from her naps, but she still needs them. Like she's super cranky at the end of the day. She doesn't nap. So I'm like, I know you need them. Um, and so like yesterday she didn't nap at all. And then she slept in this morning. I was like, probably because you need your nap yesterday. Um, so she needs the nap. So we've been traveling to my mom's every day in the middle of the day so she can have a nice quiet place to nap. It's been a lot. I'm ready for it to be over. Okay. But kind of moving on from like just personal to being a mompreneur and talking about her naps going away is that, you know, being a mompreneur kind of implies that I'm both a mom and an entrepreneur. Um, like I still run a business, like my books and this channel are a business. Um, but I have just so massively cut back from it. Like I'm not doing consults anymore. Um, I have had people reach out about doing one-on-one -on -one consults. And what I say to everybody is make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. I'll have the link below. If I add any consults in the future, that list will be the first to know hands down. Like, that group will be the first to know, have first pick of timing for that. So if you would ever want to do a one-on-one -on -one with me, make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. Um, but I'm not taking on clients right now. I'm not doing consults right now. And a lot of it is because like my runway of like guaranteed productivity is a big question mark right now while she's in this weird transition of like, am I still going to nap every day? Am I not? What time am I going to sleep? And so a when she does quiet time, it's great, but it's still in this phase where she's like testing her limits and like pops out often and asks for water or like something else. And it's so chaotic. And I could not imagine having somebody pay for my time and have it be interrupted that much. Like I, I can barely stand it. I can barely stand it. I can't imagine what another person would think. So, um, my husband and I are just having to get really creative about when I get work done like this morning. Um, and when we need to just be able to spend time together. And of late, I've had a few people just reaching out, like saying like, oh, like, can we just connect? Can I steal a few minutes of your time to catch up? Like, no, no, you may not. I do not have a few minutes. Um, if you can find them, sure, you can have them. Um, and it's just, it feels frustrating because it feels like I'm losing touch with people. Like I'm not able to connect as well or as consistently. Um, because I want to show for my kid, but like she's a toddler and we're dealing with the toddler stage and it's frustrating at times. And so it feels like a losing battle to try and carve out time for my work and my business. But I also don't want to sacrifice time with her now because she is growing up so fast. So we're in this weird stage where like, it's just being a toddler parent. So, um, yeah, I, again, people are still reaching out, asking me for help or like when people are referred to me by like a bigger name client and I just, I feel like I'm missing out. Like I feel regret when I say no, that I can't help. Um, and you know what? I always say like, here are other resources, but I just have to say no. Um, and now I've said it so much, it feels a bit like a default. And so, you know, I've been saying ever since I had my daughter, like, oh, I built it once I can build it again. Um, you know, when I have more time, but now I'm wondering like, if I'm even going to want the same full scale business when that time comes. So that's something I'm kind of like just emotionally moving through right now. 
being a mompreneur is as rewarding and as challenging as ever. Um, and then I guess author updates. So I have the first draft of my next book done. I'm actually well into the second draft right now. So by the time you see this, I'll likely have the second or even the third draft done. Um, so subscribe here to my fiction newsletter for those updates too. Um, it is unhinged and it's the darkest thing I've ever written. So get ready for it. Um, those are my updates. That's all I have. Short video today, but I just wanted to take the time to give you guys those updates. Um, as I know not everybody follows me on social media where I'm posting more regularly about this, this kind of things or, um, subscribe to the newsletter. So yeah, that's it. If you like this, if you want to encourage me in my stressful moments, um, please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe or hit the thanks button. It will also tell YouTube you got value from this information or at least entertained. And then they can recommend it to other authors like us. You can have a great day and get back to writing your book.